Okay, so I got her done. Wiring, lights work, starter works, and little little kill switch works. So just went down to Home Depot and got a little junction box with no holes in it, and uh, you know, cut out the switches and maybe under there you can see I I drilled a hole in the back. For the wires to run through, you can't really see, but I drilled a hole in the back, and then that's where I ran the wires through. And so lights work; you can kind of see them. And the starter works. Starter works. Works. Alright, green machine passes another test. Uh, pulled the trailer around the yard, loaded down with all our camping stuff. We're going camping today. There you go. Kind of funny with the big old trailer. Sit in front of the lawnmower. Uh, the LED light came in. Uh, right. Basically, you know, you, we saw it. You saw it in the previously that just reused the factory lights and then mounted the two that he had ordered on uh, Amazon. And uh, they're pretty bright, so there it is. Um, that's that's all you got for that. The lights, it lights up the whole yard when you're driving around. So, um, anyway, uh, good little riding around machine with those good uh, lug tires. Uh, it works great in the sand. Um, pulls, uh, he's even pulled our trailer with it once. So, the camper trailer, uh, the RV trailer, I'll put a link into that so you can see what it is. It's pretty big size trailer and um, this little machine pulled it from the back of the shop around to the front of the driveway so we could hook it up to the truck. Um, so there it is, uh, another swap. Sorry about all the kind of jumping around in that video. It's kind of a series of uh, trial and error and a few things. Um, took all the blue stuff, had that for a while, but decided he didn't want all of that and liked the weed eater one better. Uh, I think got all that in part one, but Finally got it all finished and moved over the switches that he wanted. Uh, push button start, lights, and that's pretty much all you need uh, to play around in the backyard. He did test it out on the uh, camper, so I put that in there just because I thought it was crazy when I saw him dragging it with there. I was like, you no way, um, but it did. It pulled it around to the front yard. Uh, he did go just in low gear because it stressed the belts if you went any higher than that. But anyway, yeah, it, it works pretty good. Um, it's a good little thing to play around. We probably will keep that with those good tires on there just to actually use in the garden down there because the the farm all is too big for our garden so we've got some of these little stuff for the back uh, the little harrow and a little rake type thing and we'll probably use those with that green mower to uh, fix the garden every year um, probably have some videos of that try them out later i uh, got a little work to do to them uh, so yeah so just uh, check out if you enjoy and again sorry for jumping around a little bit in that video but hey we can do things as we go so uh, right here you got the ram pump, something he plays around when it rains here. Those are pretty cool. Uh, the pallet breaker, if you break down pallets. And then uh, we like to melt aluminum and lead. We were trying to make a shot dripper one time. Um, had several and had renditions of that that never worked. So that was just our one of the ways we were melting things down and stuff. So this uh, for aluminum, it works pretty good. Just needs a pretty good airflow with the, the wood to make it work. But other than that, um, I just uh, enjoy these small little projects. Make sure you subscribe, like, comment. Uh, we welcome any feedback to help improve the channel. And, um, you know, we're open to all kinds of comments. So just help us out and tell us what we need and what you want to see. Thanks. Have a great day. Catch you in the next video.